how are you doing i do have to use headphones because it is about two in the morning and they are playing loud music where i live at so um but i'm being called to do this reading for you guys for the last two weeks of august we are going to pull out um your home work love and finances for all 12 zodiac signs if you hear a little ruffle ruffle uh, it's just me and the mic um if you hear any noise in the background, that definitely is my dog, one or the other. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Galactic Hood Buddha. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on, on, on Instagram or on Instagram. One of those two. Um, underscore Hood Buddha. Okay, so I am doing this reading during the Leo new moon. So we're going to go with Aries. From August 19th to the 31st, please provide us with a clear advice for their home, work, love, and finance. Okay, Aries, so let me see. I got to focus this because this is the new way I have the camera. I believe you can see this, hopefully. Um, at the bottom of the deck, for the next two weeks, um, I want to say from the 19th to the 31st, you are going to definitely feel abundant in your own um, tarot card, the Empress. You pretty much, oh no, the Emperor is for Aries. But nonetheless, you feel like a queen, feeling abundant, um, loved also supported by your community and understanding that you're going with the flow also you want to start eating more fruits and vegetables and getting in tune with your healthy side so that you can be able to work at your maximum in this current time all right so when it comes to your home right now you may be into some financials problems at home if it's not financial problems you are um, pouring too much money into your home some of you may be thinking about leaving your home and joining a shared community that's not for everybody just remember guys um this may or may not resonate with you guys yeah so when it comes to a home you guys are Looking into, some of you guys are looking into sharing a home with others. Um, I hope that you can see this. Let me see. Yes, you can. <laughs> All right. So, and others of you um, might be um, helping others. So, you might be using your home to help others. But you're looking definitely for a balance within your home. Um, yeah, but a lot of you, when it's internal, know that you have um, some finances that you really have to take care of for the next two or three weeks when it comes to your home, okay? Don't spend too much money. All right, so when it comes to work, some of you guys may have lost a job. Some of you guys may have um, th thoughts and did make a move to become an entrepreneur. So right now, you are guarding yourself, guarding your passion. You're not really speaking about your passion to anyone and you are just pretty much being very quiet when it comes to your home protect I mean well your your home and your um your work for others of you your passion is overwhelming you where at this current time you might be taking on too much at work or taking too much on for your business or your side hustle so you feeling overwhelmed but overall you are passionate but here with this one stick there um just asking you to do it um one one task at a time don't overwhelm yourself all right but with the yellow here on his neck, it also talks about being confident in your passion, being confident that um, this job has let you go for a reason or you left it or you deserve this position that's coming up within the next two weeks. And the cards in reverse is internal, so it's also 
some work from the inside um, that you have to look into. When it comes to love, some of you are um, meeting new a new lover, a young new lover with the Page of Pentacles. It could be at work. It could be um, during an event. Maybe you went out to eat or something and you found someone who is um, mentally in your, on your level, but age-wise may not be. Um, but the snake here talks about knowledge. So um, you may be having a, a pretty, a, a nice conversation with someone um, where you guys are not intimate in that sense of physical intimacy, but more of a mental intimacy. So you guys, um, also with pentacles, when it comes to love, you, there's a new beginning of learning how to um, invest in yourself, right? And that could mean monetarily or it could just be um, spiritually embracing yourself and loving yourself more. And when it comes to your finances, you are on fire. I'm not sure what you're doing. Pass me the recipe because you are on fire when it comes to your finances. Whatever it is that you're doing, um, how you're protecting your passion, or, um, you know, how you're protecting your work or how you protect whatever it is that you're doing. Your finances, this is like side hustle. Um, it's a goal. So don't stop, right? Take your time, right? All right, so this person is naked. So I want you to keep your clothes on, though. But for the most part is um, have the um, vulnerability. Vulner, burn, vor okay, we're not doing this. Hold on. Be vulnerable. There you go. Um, with your adventures and then just move ahead with it because this is the sun card. All right? The next two weeks for you. Moving along, we going into Taurus. I love you, Aries. Be safe. Um, don't forget that Mars. Oh, guys, yes. Should have mentioned this in the beginning. There are six planets in retrograde. Be easy with yourself, because when the planets are in retrograde, it's for us to review. It doesn't matter what area it is, whether if it's in communication. Whether if it's in finances, whether if it's in like Uranus and surprises, we have to sit there and really review our life. 2020 has been very, very crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's go. We're moving along to Taurus. Dear angels and archangels, please provide us with really clear advice when it comes to Taurus. August 19th to the 31st. Home, work, love, finance. Home, choices, work, the devil, Jesus Christ, what's happening, Taurus, at work? Um, love, and of coins, and then finances. All right, so there's a, a Taurus for the next two to three weeks. You are financially going to be going through a um, turnaround. Um, don't forget that Uranus is actually in your on zodiac sign so the and uranus is the planet of money so this definitely could be it um as uranus is doing this back and forth of um being in retrograde and moving forward i don't think that uranus ever did it it might have give me one second all right we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go but long story short your money um for the next two or three weeks. You're um looking for a balance, but at the same time you may need to um ask for assistance. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance, or you are pretty much collecting all of your money and you are saving it because right now the way it looks when it comes to work, like you pretty much don't want to live at work. Is um something is happening at work. I am reading it different for you guys. Um, something is happening at work that's not healthy at all, and it could be, um, it is toxic. It could be a coworker talking shit. It could be, I don't know. Um, some of you guys may have even had a relationship at work or something like that, and this is what's happening right now. So it's kind of like a bit toxic at work right now. So you just want to be careful at work. I don't like this card for work. Um. If you still have your job, be careful. Don't talk to nobody. There's people talking shit. But if you don't have a job, then be careful on the jobs that you do apply for because 
is not a healthy environment for you, all right? So let's go to home. When it comes to home, I'm not sure if you want to move. Some of you guys literally want to move to seven different places, um, and it could be based on different reasons. It could be because this place is good. Um, sorry, this place, this place is good because it um, it has um, it has the education that you want. This place could be good because is it belong is where your family's from. This place is good because there's better work there. So right now you have a lot going on, Taurus. I'm not gonna lie, my head is going <laughs> But for the most part, you definitely, when it comes to home, you are one. I'm gonna say overthinking, right? Because this is a lot right now coming from your brain. This is a lot. But it's all based on your emotions. So you are emotionally wanting to get out of your home, to go and be in a different location right now. You're not emotionally stable at home right now. So I would say take a, a, a trip if you can or just do an Airbnb in your hood or your place of living. <laughs> when it comes to your love right now, uh, because there's no cups there, I'm getting that you are really splurging on yourself right now and you like doing it with no problem right just remember that it's not just abundance with monetary things all right um it's more of also abundance um spiritually mentally and physically so you want to start investing in the right look at the fruits start eating um start um aligning your health um with your wealth so if you got cash stop investing in some coaching so that you can be able to align yourself as well all right but you are infusing a lot of love into yourself when it comes to relationships right now i don't really think you're paying attention to your partner because this card is in reverse so right now you're not really paying attention to your partner or anybody else around you and if you have kids you might want to pay attention to your kids because right now it's all about you or not do what you want this is just an advice, but your kids are asking to be around you, <laughs> all right? And when it comes to your finances, um, you have the Eight of Swords. And with the Eight of Swords, what I'm getting here is that you are, uh, again, because of this devil card at work, uh, there's so many choices and things happening for you right now that with your finances, you really um, are going to hone down on what you're spending and what you're not spending on um what's important what's not important because yeah you just spending big spender because this person is blind right now so even though you know that you have to ground that ground yourself and build a financial um plan for yourself you being blinded right now by it so um you got a lot going on taurus for the next two weeks, you have a lot going on. There's a lot of, um, I'm getting from, for you is more of like you're literally decluttering a lot from your life. So all of this is happening for you for the next two weeks. So it's just, um, in the energy of figuring things out financially uh, in your relationship and where you want to live. Some of you guys might just dip without telling anybody. Um, others of you are definitely definitely become an entrepreneurs but are very very scared um because you feel like you have to be you have to have a job which is not a problem just um use your skills and your talents to get you the next gig until you become that full-time entrepreneur if that's what you choose to all right peace love and light going to the next one on to the next one so we go in into Gemini. Gemini. Ah, I got it right this time. Gemini. Remember, guys, sun, moon, and rising. Don't forget to look at that. What is in store for Gemini August 19th to the 31st? August 19th to the 31st for Gemini. Right, home. Wow. And I y'all see me shuffle, the devil card came out. Uh-uh. Work. <laughs> Love and finances. 
This is crazy. Now shuffle, guys. Y'all see me shuffle. But this is how the cards come out. So you got two out of four cards just like um, Taurus. I don't know if y'all hanging out. But um, you got the chariot. Right now there's a lot of things that you want to do, Gemini. You want to move forward, but you're scared. You want to move forward, but you're scared. Right now you have it within you. It's like you're roaring, right? Like. No, don't do it. I was going to do Katy Perry, but mm -mm, this is not the time, my ladies. Okay, moving along. So you pretty much are ready to move forward, but there's still a bit of a blockage, right? And it's obvious because this card is in reverse, and by it being in reverse, it talks about you internally wanting to move forward, but blocking yourself from moving forward because you don't feel courageous enough. Oh, but yeah, you're roaring from the inside, but you just have, haven't had the, the strength to... Um, to bring it out into the public. So for the next two weeks, you're still going to be um battling with yourself. Is that I talk fast, guys? Battling with yourself on which route to take and um what to do. You're also in a space of not knowing what to um what which route to go. Right? You have many choices, especially when it comes to work. When it comes to work, same thing. When it comes to work, you have choices. Excuse me. You um I'm hearing that you have to get um a finish a certific finish a certification or get a certification in order for you to have many more options at work. So right now you do see the options that you have for work. You also have options to do entrepreneur stuff as well. But right now there's a bit of of a pause, right? This person is at a pause because there's um knowledge, there's a certification that needs to be completed in order for you to move towards your next step. So they're asking you for the next two to three weeks to finish up your certifications or anything that you need to finish up so that you can be able to have these options. But there is many, many opportunities coming for you when it comes to work. If you decide to leave one job and go to another one, you, you're going to get it immediately. When it comes to home, though, um, so what's happening? Right? I wish I could talk to all of you. At home right now, you just you feeling stuck bonded i'm not sure if this is because of the situation of covid i'm not sure if because you're working from home or you're not working from home so some of you guys um i mean you ever wish you could be home working others of you are at home and it's just very toxic um it could be between partners some type of argument or dispute or just like um feeling connected to somebody who's very toxic right so you see right these people just um together handcuffed together right and it's just like um it's like there's some type of manipulation happening when it comes to the home that's what i get right now so it's very um at home is very um well just remember the devil word the devil word backwards is lived so you know this life in your home right with the green so it's just like they're asking you to infuse more love into the home for others of you who may be by yourself you know right now um in your home that also could be it that you are feeling up oh, don't be dropping the card that you might be feeling lonely at home which causes you to um feel like it's toxic because um some of you guys don't really like your neighborhood and when you were working, you didn't notice how, um, so, okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to put pause real quick. Hold on. How you do this? I don't know. This moved. So hopefully you guys can see me. That was a struggle. Y'all yeah, ain't want me to talk about your house? YouTube. Oh, look, it's lopsided. Hold on. Let me see. Boom. <laughs> all right i'm i play too much all right <clears throat> so yeah your home right now is um is really going through a transition as well so oh for others of thank you they could tell me say what you was going to say about the singles yeah you're lonely you're feeling lonely at home and you're all like you don't like your environment so that's not all gemini's that's just some of you guys we already spoke about work when it comes to love 
I don't know what it is, but right now, love is not entering for you right now. Love is not, um, where you at, right here? I'm trying to move back. I think I should be right here. All right, there you go. I think I got this right, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, love, blocked. You are blocked from love. You're not um, really giving out love right now. And that is because you are feeling, you're not feeling appreciated right now. You're not, you know, the sticks are in the back, all lined up in the back. So it's like you're very, you're guarded. And then your spirits are also guarding you. So whatever um, relationship you're in, and those of you who are together, you're really guarded. Um, there's a lot of, I'm going to go back to the home, a lot of toxicity happening in the home right now. When it comes to, yeah, so because there's toxicity happening in the home, then you are guarded with your love, and then your spirit guides are guarding you too. Like, yeah, honey, you going to have to leave, or you going to have to um, speak up, right? When it comes to your finance, and you're also um missing out on love for yourself. You're also not learning how to receive love not just from a partner but just from your environment as well so it's just a, a total blockage right now even from yourself you're not even willing to give yourself love right now that's how you're feeling for the next um two to three weeks it's really evaluating what's going on in your life you really going down deep into the shadow of um shadow work when it comes to your finances, you have the swords right now. You're not speaking up on your finances. You're not saying what you want. You are um, you are thinking about how you want to rearrange your finances. Again, going with the cloud over here. But you are also um, not speaking up about your finances. So there might be some... Um, there might, there might have been a, a job available and you're not speaking up to say that you want it. Or you are thinking about taking extra... Um, extra gigs. It could be remotely, right? Because we have the swords here. It could be remote jobs that you're thinking about doing, but you haven't um, really moved forward with it. If you are thinking about doing remote jobs, I would advise that you do. Um, and that could be the reason why all of these choices are here, because you'll be able to have many choices on where you want to live and work because it's going to be remotely. Um, for you, Geminis, I would really um, highly recommend that you do look into remote jobs because um, that that's, that's your niche right there. All right. Thank you so much. We're moving along to Cancer. All right. Let me do this like this. Dear angels and archangels, thank you so much for being here, protecting us and guiding us. We have cancer. All right, don't break my table. We have cancer, August 19th to the 31st. August 19th to the 31st. August 19th to the 31st, cancer. Hello, wait. Oh, I've seen the towel car came out, so there's going to be a little eruption. Of my little cards my mother gave me these look home work love finances oh gosh everybody's going through some shit i don't know all right so in a good way in a sense like we all going through a lot of changes it's just like we leaving what doesn't belong to us behind right so when it comes to the next two to three weeks you are being asked to listen to your intuition and move forward with the sun card. It's like whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, do it blindly. Do it naked. Do it. All right. Keep your clothes on. But do, <laughs> do it without being scared. Move forward without being scared. All right. Um, so that's that. Basically, take a leap. That's what that means. When it comes to your home, some of you guys are working on your home. Decorating your home, working from home, um, repairing your home. So there's a lot of things happening in your home. And these are like infinite changes, right, with the number eight. These are changes that um, were prolonged. Some of the others of you are working to, um, calm down, you guys are saving money 
to buy a home or you guys are saving money to live on your own um and that is working out for you right now you just they just want you to continue to save money and to work and to focus on what your goal is focus on your goal and understand that things are working out in your favor uh, with the color blue also it talks about peace right so be peaceful at home right calm down don't argue with anybody do what it is that you have to do keep it at peace and you're going to going to be doing a lot of work in the nighttime so i'm not sure if you um, um use the nighttime now as a way to build creative projects but that is going to work for you as well take what resonates um when it comes to work with the King of Pentacles, I do see that you're good at work, but there's a boss that's maybe um, in the background ignoring things that are happening at work. So, um, or the, the the boss could be a bit arrogant or, you know, just, again, this boss is like turning his back on his employees. So this could um, affect the way you do your work. But for the most part right now, what I'm getting is you good at work. You don't have to worry about anything. And with the star card, um, with the stars there, it just talks about um the universe and God um being there, your spirit guides being there. Were you at work? You good at work? Don't worry about it. not that. When it comes to love, though, some of you guys are um found out that your significant other um you found out about you found out about infidelity. You also found out the true feelings on how your significant other feels about you. You might be expressing how you feel about your about your significant other, where you may not want to be dating them anymore. Um, for others of you, you're learning how to combine your mind, body, and soul. All right, with the number three, um, just embracing all three parts of yourself. Infusing love, compassion, right with the cups, flowing. So right now, love is flowing for you. But for others of you, they, yeah, like I said, you might have found out about some infidelity. Um, yeah, just listen to the messages that are coming in and in your intuition so you can have clarity before um, any conclusions are jumped. When it comes to your finances, there's a lot of emotional baggage that you're leaving behind when it comes to your finances. Um, what I'm getting is that you're taking lead on your finances in this current time and you're just making sure that you don't emotionally waste money right now. Um, or let's not say waste, well, that's what they wanted to say, that you're not emotionally um, just letting go of money um, where it don't need to go, right? Because you're working towards a goal in this current time. And because you're working towards a goal, it doesn't really align with what you're doing. So your finances have to be up to par. So they're asking you to walk away from any emotional emotional um, um, spending. I'm getting that in the nighttime, you guys. What You go on the internet and you spend money. What you doing? Cancel, tell me. Or, or don't. Write it in your journal. Or you can write it in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, um, but for the most part, take a leap for the next two or three weeks on your finances, on your love life, and um, at home. Work from home for some of you, for others of you. Um, buy, buy the new home if you have the funds. Um, just think about where is it that you're going to go. Um, and yeah, don't waste too much money. Then we moving along. So now we have, um, we have Leo. Oh, Leo, what's happening? Relax, relax. All right, so that was the full. You have a new beginning, which would make sense because it's a new home. But that was the full. All right, dear angels and archangels, thank you so much for being here, protecting us and guiding us. When it comes to Leo, Leo, August 19th, 
to the 31st, August 19th to the 31st. Please provide us with a clear advice when it comes to their home, work, and love life. I've seen the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands to me um, talks about fast messages, new beginnings, um, and especially when it comes to your passion. So whatever it is that you are passionate about, they want you to start messaging people, texting them, sending DM to people that are aligned with what your passion is so that you can start um, getting your foot in the door. Work, home, love, and finances. See what I told you, magic, the magician. Uh oh. You too, look at this. Yeah, yeah, everybody's in sync for real, for real. So, with the three of coins with, for the next two to three weeks, they want you to partner up with other people. What did I, what was I saying? I said, go and start messaging people. So, because when it comes to your finances, that's exactly what it is. Um, you cannot do everything by yourself right now. So what they're asking you to do is to partner up with others so that, oh, great. Okay. Thank you. Let's just breathe. Y'all be out here sending me messages, dropping shit. All right. So, again, working with others. You cannot work by yourself in this current time. You are in need of a team so that you can be able to um, pretty much build this, I'm hearing, empire that you want to build. And it would be a Leo to say that. So, when it comes to your home, if you have been having difficulties um, moving, um, right now you have the choice of being wherever it is that you want to be. I'm hearing to tell you that you can rent out rooms. Um, uh, just look, if you live in a city, um, any city, just look for um, rent to rent a room in um, a shared space. For others of you, they want you to look into tiny homes. So, so pretty much just like become innovative when it comes to your home. They don't want you to do the average, buy a home and keep it moving. For you, Leo, it's just something different for you. And also some of you are um, using your creativity and your craft, using your hands to create some type of, I don't know, potion, right, with the magician. Using your hands to be creative so that you can be able to um, pay your rent which means it's called, that's called entrepreneurship, all right? That's what it's called to me. Give me one second, guys. Yes, that's called entrepreneurship. So with that being said, if you're creating stuff at home, start um, start your LLC or your soul. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I'm not going to make me. Nope. You just look up how to incorporate your business if that's something that you're looking into because it's going to be fruitful for you all right and again you guys have the ability right now if you don't like where you live to um pick anywhere that you want to live you throwing in the magic in your home and making and beautifying it when it comes to work that's exactly what you're doing you're working internal work and external work so right now you're doing your spiritual work as well as the work for the public i'm not sure what type of job you have but you are secure at your job right now you don't have to worry about anything and nobody's messing with you you're actually getting extra work which you want right now when it comes to your love life, you are pretty good at your love life because um, you're stable financially. Um, you, f you, know, your significant others not not for nothing treating you well at work. I mean, at work, treating you. <laughs> when you getting treated, maybe you work with your wife and you're being treated well in both areas. That sounds dope. Pretty dope. But right now, um, when it comes to love, your significant other is paying attention to you and you are paying to your um, significant other. For others of you, if you're single, there are some ladies in the background trying to get your attention to um, to date. As well as if you are a female, there's some men behind you who are um, asking you to date. If you're a female and this is, this is in a position of love, right? You you may be working a bit too much and not bringing in your feminine side, so you're embodying 
embodying more of your masculine and not learning how to receive love. Um, so that's your feminine side saying, hey, come on and bring me in so we can balance out ourselves, right? Because here, this is an imbalance, right? Three. If you had the fourth one here, that would be a balance. So, And this is in the um, genital area. So I'm saying to the females who are working hard and are a Leo, take a break. Embrace your feminine side, all right? Bring some love into your into your solar plexus and your sacral or sacral when it comes to finances right now um there might have been some loss in your finances some of you may have um done an investment and you can feel it and you're emotionally um, upset about it but things are happening for you not to you right you see oh my earphones hold on you see the hand here the hand is pretty much expressing that um there's another opportunity coming in for you if you just raise your head up a bit you can look up and you can see that these things that you lost were for a reason and some of you have might have had might have had about three to four trials and tribulations and it's just like i'm done i can't do this anymore it doesn't seem to go right, right? That attitude. But right now they're asking you to be compassionate with yourself and understand that this is happening to you for a reason. And an opportunity an opportunity like this will be coming through again. They just don't want you to miss out on it. All right? So this is um, in the areas of your finances because you are working hard to um, expand your knowledge when it comes to how you can um, make money but um like i said it could have been um some quick fast money that you were um making and it didn't work out for you so and right now they're asking you to just walk away from what happened in the past and if an opportunity in that spectrum comes back take a deep look into it because it definitely definitely is an opportunity for you to move forward in your finances that was long-winded. All right. Last but not least, we have Virgo, Virgo. One day I'll get it right. August 19th to the 31st. August 19th to the 31st for Virgo, 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 Virgo. Guys, I'm shuffling these cards and... They doing their own thing. I used to work at a casino. No, I'm lying. <laughs> I used to just play saves a lot in high school. Oh, these are not showing my skills at all. But at least y'all know I'm shuffling now. All right. Hold up. August 19th, oh my gosh, hold on guys. All right, just cards fall, so I'm not going to read, I'm just going to tell you what it is, but I'm not going to read it, so, I mean, I'm not going to add it to the reading. So, for you, off the back is a lot of blockage, block, you're blocked with love, you just care about money right now, when it comes to Virgo, you blocked with love. Love for you right now is not an option. You're just not letting nobody in. All right. So now let's go into it. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know what time it is. It might be 3 in the morning already. All right. Oh, look. It came back out. And we shuffled. And it came back out. <laughs> I'm glad I showed y'all that. All right, so yes, Virgo, right now you are going through a huge, huge, when I mean huge, huge life transition right now. For the next two or three weeks, it's just um, letting everything go right now, not even having control of, every, of anything. I know you're saying to me, but <laughs> we haven't had control of anything. And I'm saying to you, uh, you need to let go uh, even deeper right now. Deeper to the point where you are lost in your um, passion, 
um, to the point where you are just focusing on what you love to do. Uh, If you have to go to work and do your nine to five, that's cool. But when you come back home, um, just tap into yourself, like literally tap into yourself because everything around you is definitely going to be um, crumbling down for the next two weeks. And that's not for everybody. Um, it doesn't mean that, oh my God, okay, let me get this right. Cause some of you, it is a lot that's going down. It's like a, a, a domino effect, right? But for others of you, it just might be one area, right? And it could just, and with the car being internal, it could just be you having a nervous breakdown within yourself. And that nervous breakdown within yourself causes a lot of external, um, events to go different for you. So it could be either way, either an external blow up or an internal blow up that shifts shifts you. When it comes to um home, this is exactly what's happening. You're blocking yourself from home. That is all right. Blocking yourself from home. No, you're blocking yourself from people in the house, right? This could be a significant other or your kids, just anyone. Right now, you just don't want to let nobody in. You're not um. If you live by yourself, you're not letting letting any visitors come over. Excuse me. But your heart chakra is open. So you are um, open to receive love. But at the same time, there's just like, there could have been um, a bit of an argument at home. And that could have caused you to feel this way right now. All right. So also when it comes to the home, you're... Um, kind of got like a little mess in the house so right now you're also cleaning um that's not for everybody that's for some of you but you got a clear head right so there's no no clouds over your head so right now when it comes to home you just uh cleaning up or blocking yourself from your significant other because right now you just you just like whatever that's what i'm hearing so when it comes to work you could be um going um through a transition where you're picking and choosing what career you want to do based on your skills. So you might have laid your own self, laid yourself off or pretty much quit your job and gave in your two-week notice while others of you may have gotten laid off. So now you're just like, oh, my gosh. Some of you are actually happy, right? Like you're not worried um, financially in a sense because you know you have these skills and traits that's going to get you to the next job, Um but you do have a lot of choices. And if you do decide to certify yourself to become something else or something different than what you're currently doing, they are recommending for you to do that as well. There's a lot of opportunities with that certification or um, new interests of a job or career will take you. Like, there's options. There's, there's a lot. Love, confusion, illusion, Right? just talks about um this is why you could be blocked at home it's just right now um love for you is just not going well for you right now you feel like everything is crumbling when it comes to love um be a lot of disputes with your significant other it could be um disputes with yourself but the card is upright so it's a lot of um, pointing fingers and blaming um, each other at home. So that could be you and the kids and the husband. So right now, love is a little bit foggy for you. Um, they are asking you to go a little bit back into July and figure out what was working out in July and what you may have thought shifted for the month of August and why these things may be happening. But um. When it comes to love, you are definitely are at a halt. There is no movement right now for some of you. For others of you, um, you are using the moon magic to infuse more love in, into yourself. And that is allowing you to release, right? Release your old self as you stand there, listening to your old self, um, arguing dispute, but just not really embodying it. So you are doing amazing and lastly you have the nine of wands for your passion you're close to the end when it comes to your passion you're almost there um allowing yourself to really embody what you what it is that you want to 
bring out into the world. But at the same time, you are um, asking if it's real or not. That's what I'm getting in my head. Is it real or not? And right now, what they want you to do is to really have peace, compassion, and love when it comes to this new beginning that you have coming because you are being um, guarded and guided by your guides in this current time. So they want you to just take it easy when it comes to your finances and um, see which route you want to go with your passion so that way you can um, unleash it because number 10 is just like almost there. So it could be these certifications that's going to bring you into your passion, all right? All right, guys, thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Every Saturday on Facebook, I do a yes and no question at 8 a.m. Find me there, Galactic Hood Buddha, and look out for your Leo spread. We're doing it with different cards. Peace, love, and light. Take care.